Hey everyone, I'm Ultima456, here are the Ultimates, and welcome to episode 41 of Let's Platinum Dungeon 2, Goodbye Despair. Alright, did you figure out what the unconventional weapon was? Inside Let's the music do it. Room, huh? What about broken glass? Isn't the cause of death a blow to think she attacked her with the fish tank? That's too big to be a- Then the piano. Why are you going e The investigation conducts you- It's on that big a scale too? How about beating her with gravel instead? I agree with that. Alright, I can use a concentration skill now since I didn't use it in the first trial. I got it. The killer must have used gravel to attack the victim. I'll let Hajime explain. My goodness. I got it right. And I was just throwing things out there. <laughs> just as I thought! I'm chosen by the gods! You're not chosen at all! And gravel is impossible! It's too small to be a weapon. What if the gravel was put inside some sort of bag? What kind of bat? If the weapon is something that appeared in the game, then so is the bat. And the only thing I can think of is the school swimsuit. If you tie the swimsuit like a bag and stuff it full of gravel, it'd make an effective weapon. Mm, I don't know about effective, but it'd be a weapon. <laughs> gravel inside the swimsuit? Even the Ace Attorney would be astonished by such a fantastic idea! <laughs> Ace Attorney's not capitalized there, but I assume she's referring to the game. But for the killer, it's an idea that kills two birds with one stone. To make people think the killer is some pervert, it makes sense for a school swimsuit to be stolen. And if that swimsuit was used to make an improvised weapon, it'd have to be disposed of later. How about it, Monokuma? Are you satisfied now? This happiness you feel when the mystery you create is solved! Only producers know this feeling of ecstasy! <laughs> But the real important talk begins now. Girl E had someone who can be called an accomplice. That person was actually Girl D. Girl D. You're talking about Mahiru, right? Huh? Mahiru is the accomplice? What is this? What does that mean? The piece of face that became an important clue in the music room murder. Girl D got rid of it. <laughs> It's okay, I made sure to throw it away. And, apparently the reason Girl E committed murder in the first place was to protect Girl D. Girl D was being harassed by the victim. Girl E found out and tried to stop it. And they ended up getting into an argument. And she felt a rush of anger and ended up killing her. But she should have had a clear murderous intent. I mean, she choked her out and then bludgeoned her to death. She probably made her unconscious by accident uh, and from there she couldn't go back I, I i somewhat understand that feeling you can that's pretty scary but girl e was also killed by someone on the fourth day or the game's last day i might as well ask just in case who do you think killed girl e girls girl e's killer right now the only person i can think of is that guy Guy F. I see. That was an easy one with the options you get. It should have been Guy F. A scenario where Guy F murders Girl E out of a burning, hellfire desire to avenge his murdered sister. But, but Guy F is. What? It's just a story in a video game, isn't it? That's all you can say. If that game is telling the truth, it'd be a huge problem for you. Hey, clear this up for me. Those of you who appeared as characters in the game, do you remember this incident? Th that is, I'm terribly sorry, but... They don't remember! That's obvious! Because their school memories were, like, totally stolen! Even if I don't remember, I already know! It's obvious that guy is the killer! No one would kill a nice person like Mahiru besides a piece of shit menace to society like Fuyuhiko! Girl E and Mahiru were killed by that guy! You sure do talk a lot of shit. Well, I'm used to it by now. But does Mahiru's murder have anything to do with that game? Perhaps the two are unrelated. No. The game and Mahiru's death are probably related. 
In actuality, there's an important shared point with the, with Gurley and Mahiru's murder, and that is. And this is actually kind of a tricky one. It's uh, it's the metal bat. Um, the murder weapon used in the Twilight Syndrome murder case was a metal bat too. All oh, right, yeah, because you have to remember that um, it's not the murder that occurred in the music room. It's the one later. I can prove they it. They were both this. murdered with a metal bat. I'm not sure the two events are unrelated. At the very least, the killer has definitely played the game. As proof, Mahiru, who was killed in the beach house, and girl E, who was killed in the game, were both killed by a blow to the head with a metal bat. There's no way we can ignore that connection. Someone must have wanted to split her head open the exact same way they avenged the first victim. Hey, why don't you confess already? You're the one who killed Mahiru, right? You, you better cut that out right now! There is no way a stupid game could be the motive! You're dumb enough to believe that stupid game and that's why you killed her as revenge! If you keep making up your mind like that, we're just going to go around in circles. And... It's true, Fuyuhiko may look suspicious, but don't you think that'd be too obvious? What... What are you... I mean, there's a possibility that it's a trap set by the true killer. D trap What do you mean? The true killer played that game, and most likely found out about the relationships between the characters. That person could be using that knowledge to try to set up Fuyuhiko. Are you saying that a completely different killer murdered Mahiru, and used the game motive as their cover? Isn't that what happened, Hyoko? Huh? Don't you understand? I'm saying you might be the true killer. <laughs> what is this? Like, I can only laugh. What are you even saying, you nasty toilet-clogging bitch? <laughs> topical. Not topical, but you know what I mean, like, a, um, com uh, based on the first, first trial. <laughs> Relevant. That's the word I was looking for. What are you saying, you four-eyed troll? <laughs> Accusing me of killing Mahiru? <laughs> You're so mean! Why do you doubt Hyoko? Do you know where Hyoko was today? She was at the beach house, the scene of the crime. But I didn't go to the beach house! I was squishing Mr. Ants all day! Hold on. What she said clearly contradicts the information I know. Yep, she lied just there. She said she didn't go to the beach house, but we definitely saw her running away from the beach house. Well, she must have. She was at the beach house, the scene of the crime. prove it? But I didn't go to the beach house. We got footprints. No, that's wrong. Wait a minute. You should have been at the beach house, Hyoko. I told you I didn't! But these footprints in the sand in front of the beach house, aren't they yours? I don't have such ugly footprints! Mm -hmm. They're probably Mekons based on how ugly they are! Don't decide that based on ugliness! Huh. They're not Hyoko's footprints? That's strange. The footprint I collected from your room matches these footprints perfectly. Collected? I never gave you permission to collect that, you nasty pedo! Plus, the footprints left in the sand were facing away from the beach house. Which means, when the owner of these footprints went inside the beach house, they used a different entrance. A different entrance? Are you talking about the door facing the road that Mahiru's body was leaning against? Are you saying... When that person went inside the beach house, the body hadn't appeared yet? The door was still accessible when they went in, and wasn't when they left. Which means something happened in between those two events. Isn't that right, Hyoko? Ah! Oh, I remember now! I remember when I went to the beach house! Hmm, so you finally decided to confess. I'm pretty sure you guys already know this. But going for walks in the morning is my daily routine. I've never heard of that daily routine before. 
And that's when I went to the beach house. I went there on my morning walk. I see. If you went there during your morning walk, <laughs> it doesn't have anything to do with the case at all. Don't believe her so easily, dumbass. She's obviously lying. Huh? It's a lie? People who call other people liars are usually liars themselves. If you say I'm lying, prove it. Can you even prove that I'm lying? <laughs> There's no way a bunch of worthless idiots like you guys would be able to do that. All right, we have to prove that she's lying. So she said that she went there during her morning walk. Pretty sure we got some evidence that proves otherwise. I did go to the beach house. But only during my morning walk. I didn't go any other time. Then you didn't meet up with Mahiru at the beach house? <laughs> Obviously not. Saying I met up with her when I never even saw her? Is this a panel of idiots? Yoko said she never saw Mahiru, but is that really true? The way we can I prove it go to the beach house. is the letter that we have. It said... Let's find it real quick. Uh, I was going to tell you in person, but I couldn't find you, so I put this in your mailbox about what we discussed earlier. Is it okay if we change the place and time? I want you to come to the beach house on the second island at 2.30pm. That is not in the morning. But only during my morning walk! No, that's wrong! No, that's wrong. Only during your morning walk, huh? Will you still claim that after you take a look at this letter? I was going to tell you in person, but I couldn't find you, so I put this in your mailbox. About what we discussed earlier, is it okay if we change the place and time? I want you to come to the beach house on the second island at 2.30pm. It seems there's someone who wants to interfere with our meeting. Let's keep it a secret. Until then, let's try not to see each other for a while. It would be bad if they started suspecting us for no reason. Yoko Sionji. That letter! It's the one Mahiro had, right? I see. So Hiyoko was able to arrange a meeting with Mahiru by exchanging letters with her. What is that letter? I'm serious. I don't know. Oh, snap. I remember now. I totally saw you. Huh? Me and Hajime met up at the diner around 3 p.m. to go to the beach. I saw you about 30 minutes later, so it should have been around 3.30 p.m. I see. So if she met Mahiru at 2.30 p.m., killed her, then ran away afterward, I think 3.30 p.m. is a reasonable time for you to have witnessed Hyoko. You're wrong! You're totally wrong! Now that you mention it, you also passed by the diner Fuyuhiko. So you should have seen Hyoko too, right? No, I didn't. It's just a coincidence that I passed by the diner. I wasn't even paying attention to the beach house. I went straight back to my cottage after I saw you guys. I didn't see anyone during that time. For some reason, that sounds suspicious too. It's the truth. Deal with it. Just leave him alone. It'd be a waste of time to question him any further. Anyway, that letter in Kazuichi's testimony says it all. You were meeting up with Mahiru at the beach house. Seriously? I don't know! I didn't even write that letter! I, I'm telling the truth! I really, really don't know! <laughs> is she really crying? Or is she faking it? She's probably faking it. We can assume she summoned Mahiru with the intention of killing her all along. That's why she wrote a letter to let her know where to meet, so the others wouldn't find out. And then you went ahead to the beach house, hid yourself in a specific place, and waited for Mahiru. There's evidence for that too. Hmm, the only place I can think of where Hyoko was hiding is probably that place, right? Alright, it is in the closet. There wasn't much space, but it's in the closet. She could have hid here, but I think um, here. it was like locked or it was out of order and they weren't allowed to go in or something. The place where Hiyoka was hiding. Are you talking about the closet? Yes, 
That's right. The gummy candy we found on the floor is the evidence. Yoko. Your favorite candy is gummies, correct? What's a gummy? <laughs> I've never eaten something like that before. <laughs> I have captured the true character of this mystery. Hyoko, who summoned Mahiru to the beach house, hid inside the closet like a familiar. When she saw her chance, she attacked her like an evil spirit and left the beach house like a swift wind. But Hyoko miscalculated that Mahiru's body would be blocking the door at that time. Because of that, she was only able to leave from the beach side door and ended up leaving her footprints. <laughs> we have presented the proof! My four dark devas of destruction didn't even need to come out! It's a trap! This is obviously someone's trap! Who's someone? Whose trap is it? It must be that one person. You know, the one with the mask, maybe? The one with the mask? There was a suspicious mask at the beach house, right? Whoever was wearing that could be the real killer. You're the one who wore that mask and killed Mahiru, right? There's no way I'd wear such a childish mask. Is your brain fried or something? That is right. It cannot be Hyoko. That mask belongs to Sparkling Justice! Huh? Sparkling what now? That mask says it all! Sparkling Justice is hiding on this island! Which means, the legendary serial killer Sparkling Justice is the one who killed Mahiru! Why, you? If you continue to say such foolish things, I shall tear you limb from limb. Don't blame Miss Sonia! It's just a difference between cultures! A culture shock, you know? Yoko, why don't you just admit it already? You're being unreasonably stubborn! It's all in your heads! Oh, why can't you understand? I'm not the killer! It's true that Hyoko is suspicious, but there's something strange. Something doesn't make sense. I can't help but feel like we're being directed by someone. I shall render my verdict upon this mystery's conclusion. Hiyoko is the sinner who killed Mahiru! Uh, I'm telling you, it's a trap! There's no doubt! You went to the beach house, right? And weren't you also hiding in the closet? So that's when you dropped the gummy! You waited for your chance to kill Mahiru. And afterward, you fled from the beach house! At the time, the door facing the road... ...was blocked by the body. So you were forced to flee from the beachside entrance. And that's how you left your footprints! It looks like everyone doubts Yoko. Is that really okay? This one's pretty tricky, actually. My verdict upon this mystery's you have to realize that the gummy that was dropped was a yellow gummy, and the one that Yoko likes to eat um, has the flavors strawberry, melon, grape, and orange, and none of those flavors uh, would provide a yellow gummy. Strawberry would be red, melon would probably be green, Grape would be kind of like a purpley color, or possibly green, uh, and orange would be orange. So the yellow gummy would probably be a uh, lemon flavored uh, gummy. It doesn't actually say, but it's probably a lemon flavored gummy. So you have to work that out. There's no doubt. You went to the beach house. And weren't you also hiding? So that's when you dropped the gummy. Nice. No, that's wrong. No, that's wrong. About that gummy, did Hyoko really drop it? The only one childish enough to eat gummies is that midget over there. Hmm. You're a midget too, you know. You're the one who worries about never getting taller. It's true Hyoko likes to eat gummies, but she only eats a specific brand. The brand of gummies you eat only have strawberry, melon, grape, and orange flavors, right? Huh? What about the lemon flavor? The 
the gummy at the crime scene was yellow, so it obviously looked like it was lemon flavored. Huh? That gummy is yellow? And it's not mine! The ones I eat don't have any yellow gummies! What? That's right! None of the gummy bags in her. Then we can't assume Ooh, Hyoko was the one sorry. who dropped that yellow gummy. See? Didn't I tell you? It's definitely a trap! Uh, damn it! Who would set a trap like this? I'll get my revenge! I'm gonna bop you on the head with all my might! Hold on, you little bitch! You think you're in the clear just because of a little gummy? Don't be stupid! I'm not done backing you into a corner yet! Okay, there's more. Probably have to end it here in a moment. Let's just see what everyone has to say first. We're not done with Hyoko yet! There's still a huge piece of evidence left! You're talking about the footprints near the beach house, right? It's true, that's an important piece of evidence. And we can thank Mahiru for it! What does that mean? Mahiru used her last ounce of strength and oh, sorry, blocked there. the door to the road. Thanks to her, we have the evidence we need. That's wrong. That's wrong. I left those footprints during my morning walk. We gotta figure out what's right and what's wrong. All right. We're so we'll leave things there and uh, continue next time so you can try and think on mull that one over for yourself as well uh so i want to thank you all for watching episode 41 of let's plan and dungan ropper 2 goodbye despair my name is ultima 456 you're the ultimates and i'll see you next time